Now, last year, our science editor Tom Clark went to Colombia to a remote mountainous region where many families have a 50% chance of developing Alzheimer's. The villagers have agreed to allow scientists to study what's wrong and monitoring their condition whilst uh, they're alive and donating their brains after death. Now, research based on their plight has been published in The Lancet. Here's Tom Clark again. Earlier this year, Channel 4 News followed this group of young Colombians as they travelled to the United States. Alejandra, good to see you. They're taking part in the first ever trial to develop a preventative treatment for Alzheimer's disease. To answer the questions that we ask, the most important thing is you. you are part of They're so special because each of them belongs to one of several hundred families from northern Colombia with a rare genetic mutation. Carriers of the faulty gene are destined to develop Alzheimer's disease. Each volunteer has watched at least one family member die of Alzheimer's. They also know they have around a 50% chance of carrying the gene themselves, though they've agreed not to know their status. And yet they still volunteer. The trial has hardly begun, yet already these volunteers have given scientists a startling new insight into Alzheimer's. In those which carry the mutation, there are signs of the disease decades before symptoms occur. What that does is it opens up a window of changes occurring in the brains of individuals who are destined to get Alzheimer's disease, but who are not symptomatic. So that's an opportunity for therapies designed to prevent symptomatic decline. Professor Fox is working with similar families in the UK. The aim, like in the US, to test whether drugs given during this crucial new window might prevent or slow Alzheimer's before it destroys the brain. The people who carry the gene know that they will become affected and know roughly when they'll become affected and they very generously take part in studies where they are followed longitudinally. So that means one can assess, scan, take samples from people 10, 15 years before the disease and follow them on so that you can see what the change is and how they evolve. A, a remarkable opportunity. Yeah, if the drugs these trials aim to test do indeed slow the dreadful progress of Alzheimer's, it could mean these young volunteers might not face quite the same fate as their relatives. No problemas. But they also offer hope to us all. These volunteers may help scientists find a way of detecting common, non-inherited Alzheimer's before it strikes. That could mean better treatment for a disease affecting one in four people over the age of 80.